Welcome, my name is Bert Bossela and I'm the Scientific Director of the IKT, Institute for Underground Infrastructure. And today I'm giving you an overview of a very interesting seminar series. You can find all the episodes here in my YouTube channel. Just look for the playlist Sewer and Pipeline Engineering Seminar. These seminar videos help you to take the exam in Sewer and Pipeline Engineering at one of the universities where I give my lectures. But everyone else can join in too. This course is in fact the basis for a certification Sewer and Pipeline Engineering, which can be acquired online at my institute, the IKT. So, wherever you are on this planet, if you are interested, just drop me an email and I'll give you more information on how you can pass the certification process. But now to the overview. What is this course about? Well, it's about all topics that play a role in the construction and rehabilitation of sewers and pipelines. There are more than 16 videos available here on YouTube and they are easy to find. Just use the YouTube search and enter the letters SPE for Sewer and Pipeline Engineering and the number of the seminar that you want to watch. So for open construction practice, for example, just enter SPE002 and you are right there. So what is the whole course about? Well, after an introduction, we start with the open cut method. That is the laying of sewers and pipes in open trenches. This also includes pipe statics and special soils and components such as flowable backfill material or reinforced concrete pipes or plastic pipes. Then we go to the trenchless methods. How can we lay sewers and pipes without trenches? There are a lot of methods for drilling and boring underground. We will take an even closer look at the pipe checking method in particular. After the new construction comes the rehabilitation. For this, the sewers and pipes are inspected and then we can repair, renovate or replace the damaged pipes. There are also many different procedures and techniques there. Then it goes into very specific but also very important topics for sewer and pipeline engineering. That is the structural integrity and stability of liners, which is a particularly important rehabilitation method. And we will take a look at the bonding behavior of composite structures and the importance of surface preparation. For example, when a coating is applied for protection against corrosion. A very big question then is the issue of useful life or service life. Many people then think of depreciation or durability, but is that really the same thing? Certainly not. And that is precisely what we want to discuss in this seminar. Then it's on to the tightness testing of sewers and pipelines and also the interaction between trees and pipes. Root resistance being the keyword here. Yes, and finally, very topically, we deal with the issue of heavy rainfall. Are our stormwater sewers really too small or what can actually be done about it? And for those who want to pass the certification, there is study material to prepare for the exam. Like, for example, a word-by-word -word transcript of all lectures and a script with all topics explained again for those who prefer to read instead of watching a video. Just contact me if you want to get access to these materials and pass the exam. And if you still have questions now, no problem. Here are my contact details again. Just write me an email or give me a call.